All right, guys, so the tech war is escalating. Ever since China's deep sea came out, everyone is rushing to create their own AI solution. Now, this is especially true for US tech giants. DeepSeek was a slap to the face that woke everyone up in Silicon Valley. China is not collapsing and their technology is already starting to surpass the West. And because of this shock, AI chipmaker NVIDIA experienced their biggest single-day decline of $560 billion. The signal was clear. You don't need the latest cutting-edge chips to make AI solutions that everyone can use. A ton of money for big tech is already queuing up to build the infrastructure for AI. In 2025, capital spending will be incredible. $234 billion from companies like Google, Amazon, Oracle, and Microsoft. In 2026, this amount will balloon to nearly a quarter trillion dollars. This is how much US companies are betting on the future of AI. But DeepSeek has released the genie from the bottle. Now, every company with some money wants to build the latest AI model. After all, it took China only $6 million to build theirs. And now we have Elon Musk throwing his head into the ring with his own AI solution. The world's richest man has developed Grok3. Now, of course, he's going to say that it's the best AI in the world, that it's better than OpenAI or China's deep stick. Now, this is a very bold claim that we have to investigate. According to Mars, Grok3 uses 10 times more computing power than the previous version. Now, some users are saying that it consumes 263 times the computing power of DeepSeek. So we should expect a phenomenal experience from this, right? The stakes for X are extremely high because Elon, he wants to corner the entire AI market in North America. He wants to raise $10 billion from big investors and venture capital firms. So everything depends on the performance of Grok3 and how useful it is to users. Now, X says that Grok3 smashes every competitor out there. When it comes to math, science, and coding, it blows the competition out of the water. It is at least 10 to 20% better than China's DeepSeek and Google's Gemini. But therein lies the problem. You are consuming 200 times more computing power for just an improvement of 20%. Is having so much compute power necessary for the majority of users and companies? And that is a big question and it all boils down to pricing. Now, one of DeepSeek's big advantages is that it's generally free for the world to use. However, to access Grok3, you'll need to pay almost $40 to $50 a month to unlock its full potential. Now, maybe it's worth it. Maybe Grok3 is the DeepSeek killer and China is finished. Or maybe not. AI users have made their comparisons and so did I, and the results are very entertaining to say the least. Now, Nitika Sharma did an investigation into Grok3 versus DeepSeek. She conducted a coding test asking Grok3 to basically generate a random maze to make it visible to the average person. Now, according to Mars, Grok3 beats DeepSeek hands down when it comes to coding, but does it? The result shows us a very different picture, literally. Now, the results are very clear. The maze drawn by Grok3 doesn't even look like one in the first place. It's highly pixelated and just looks like a total mess. Deep Six maze looks more proper. It adheres to proper maze generation principles and it's clear to everyone that this looks more or less like what we all expect. So obviously, Grok3 still has some coding issues. Now, this isn't good, especially if you're consuming more power compared to Deep Six. But let's leave coding aside. How about the average user like you and me who uses AI to get direct answers? Now, to make these videos, I have to do a lot of research. So how does Grok3 vs DeepSeek compare for me? Firstly, I ask both AI models the exact same question. What are the latest Trump tariffs imposed on countries? Give me a list of the tariffs and list out the source. Now, you would think that this is a very straightforward question. But the answers I get from Grok3 and DeepSeek are vastly different, which is a very big head scratcher. Grok gave me a history of Trump's tariffs since 2017. I didn't ask for that. I don't really care for it. They then gave me a list of Trump's proposed tariffs during his 2024 election campaign. But we are deep into 2025 and everyone already knows the tariffs have been imposed. But what really took the cake was how Grok3 just vomited a bunch of sources without proper guidance. And more importantly, without giving me the direct links, 
Now that isn't very useful, especially if I am rushing for time. But when it came to DeepSeek, I was pleasantly surprised. They gave me exactly what I wanted and expected. Remember, AI is supposed to enhance your productivity. It's not supposed to frustrate you. Now, firstly, they arranged the information nicely. It tells me exactly the tariff rate of Pacific countries like Mexico and Canada. And it tells me the products affected and the reason why Trump punished those countries, illegal immigration for Mexico and national security concerns for China. In addition, they helped with listing the sources and references in a user-friendly way. The results link directly to sources like CNN, Bloomberg or Reuters. Most importantly, there are direct links available, so I don't need to go on some wild goose chase. So just for my simple usage, Deep6 seems to be more user-friendly and helpful than Grok3, and it's free. What's the point of paying $50 now? So guys, let me know which is better for you. Your mileage may vary. But here's the truth about AI. Sooner or later, a better version will be developed. The US would eventually create a better version of DeepSeek. China would then create yet another upgraded version that becomes the best for a while. But this AI madness is not going to stop. We are in a race to the bottom. The moment China enters the fray, this becomes a war of financial attrition, which isn't where you want to be. Firstly, Chinese AI models will outprice you. Very few companies can compete. Compared to OpenAI that charges $10 to $60 per million output tokens, DeepSeek charges only around $2 for their more advanced model. And that's a savings of at least 80% for the end user. Sure, some AI solutions could be faster, and more efficient than DeepSeek, but costs do matter, especially if you're a smaller company or from a country outside the Western world. Competing with China means a margin war, and to win, you best be prepared to dig in deep. Either you have a ton of money to spend, or you have to be ultra efficient in how you spend your cash. Just listen to Ke Yi Jing, a leading Chinese economist that tells us how China's model of innovation really works. It's simply the Hunger Games on steroids. In the US, parties change, but policies don't. Uh, in China, it's the opposite. They are building mini Silicon Valleys all around China. And it's only useful if you help the good ones, the productive ones. And so they do that. Not, they don't just help one or two, they help thousands. So if you think about corruption and the lack of democratic, democratic mechanisms, there are much more nuanced mechanisms of competition and checks and balances in China that we may not see from the outside. That's what happened to the EVs. Within 10 years, China became the largest producer and consumers of EVs. And it does help that the government can roll out 4 million EV charging stations around the country as opposed to 160,000 in the US. It critically does make that kind of difference. China's system as a whole is better for innovation if the direction is set correctly. There isn't any political instability, especially when it comes to policies, once the government has decided. Now, we have seen this in EVs. We are seeing this in both AI solutions and physical semiconductors as well today. And mark my words, China is going to turn AI into yet another type of commodity. It will be the oil and gas for companies around the world to unlock greater efficiency. So if you want to be more productive, you'll use some version of AI. Now the chief executive of Salesforce just revealed the truth. AI spending is a race to the bottom. Eventually, everyone will be working with similar powerful models, whether it's made in China or the United States. A better approach would be to use AI to empower your business. How can you utilize artificial intelligence to help your customers better? That will be the key challenge going forward. The West has to find a way to harness the power of AI to make their products better. You can't have AI alone. You need a business to unlock value or you'll just be peddling a commodity. You know, this AI race, who's better, whose AI is better? The answer yesterday is going to be different from the answer tomorrow. You have to start to ask yourself, what is the purpose of, what is the goal of developing AI? Is this to have the smartest child so that they can win every single Nobel Prize? Or is it something different? Like, there's a lot of problems in the world that need to be solved. Uh, there's a lot of uh, issues that we need to use AI to 
apply AI so that it can be useful and productive and make an economic impact. So the US has to run like hell to compete with China in applications because the clock is ticking. Now, some companies like Apple, they get it, that it's smarter not to build an AI model from scratch, especially if you're lagging behind. It's going to become a common commodity like oil and gas. It's better to integrate into your own solutions and focus on your customers. And that's why their share price flew up. Investors are happy they aren't wasting billions in a pointless AI arms race. But not all US companies are like Apple. There will still be a ton of giants willing to pour money to create the next Skynet for world domination. And that's going to put tremendous pressure on their balance sheet. Sooner or later, investors, they will come knocking and do a Jerry Maguire on the companies. Show me the money or I'm out of here. Now, this chart shows us how overvalued US tech companies are and it's mostly thanks to AI capital spending. The top 10 names in the S&P like Nvidia and Microsoft, they are trading at record valuations. The rest of the S&P is near 20 times price to earnings, which is already quite high. But look at the valuations of the Magnificent 7 and Friends, it is out of this world. It's almost 30 and this is unsustainable. In 1999, the dot-com bubble popped when P ratios hit 40. If US tech companies continue to go crazy with their AI spending, investors could get nervous and they might just pull the rug. Competing to build the latest AI model will be hard, especially when you are fighting with China. They have a lower cost of labor, they have cheaper inputs, and they have an army of engineering and computer science graduates. Even as we speak, China just released yet another AI model called Kimi AI. Apparently, it wins everything. It beats DeepSeek, OpenAI, and Alibaba. And once again, it's free for everyone to access. And that's why AI is a race to the bottom. The moment China entered the arena, it's game over. So US companies will need to find a way out of this trap. By making DeepSeek open source, China has unlocked the floodgates to cheaper and faster innovation. And hopefully Silicon Valley figures this one out. It's all about using AI for your customers now. But let me know what you think. Can the US really beat China in AI development? And is investing hundreds of billions here a good idea? Let me know in the comments below. Stay safe. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe as we navigate through these crazy times.